Okay guys, today we're gonna talk about it. As you can see, I'm not here by myself today. I've got a friend with me, this guy right here. Oh my gosh. And I figured, you know what? Let's talk about it. It's not something I usually do on the channel, but being as I am a medical esthetician, as well as everything else that I do in the fashion industry and just everything, I thought let's talk about how to clear up a zit in 24 to 48 hours, because it is that season where you guys want to have clear skin, obviously. So let's talk about it. This is going to be a skincare video, which I feel like I haven't done on the channel in a hot minute. So today is that day. Let's talk about it. We're going to jump right in there. I'm going to share with you guys all my tips and trips on all my tips and tricks on how to get rid of a zit. Okay. Hey guys, it's been 48 hours, so I thought I would check in with you. So I just thought I would show you zit, totally gone, just a tiny bit of redness, but it is gone, 100% gone. All right guys, I will see you soon. Let's start with this, this little guy right here. This is a jade roller. You don't need to have the jade necessarily, but this is what this is. I picked this guy up at TJ Maxx, or you can get it at Amazon, Winners, you know, wherever. But honestly, I think even Walmart, I think I've seen them there. But this little guy is amazing. Keep this in your fridge or in your freezer. And I just took it out of my little cosmetic fridge, which is here on my desk. And what we're gonna do is depuff the face and depuff this area where the zit is. So I'm just gonna roll that on there. You guys could use the smaller end as well, since it is a small area. So I'm just literally cooling down that skin and depuffing it. And we're just gonna go right under our eyes because why not? <laughs> we're gonna just go up here. Always work up when you're using something like this or applying any beauty product really. So I'm just gonna depuff the face because why not? All right, so right there, as you can see, we've made it just a little bit more red. That's okay. That's just the coldness touching that area of the skin and depuffing it. So we're just gonna depuff that because we want it to be nice and flat when we go to apply our cover up because I'm gonna take you guys from literally how to clear it up to how to cover it up in this video. So definitely stay tuned to the end of the video to see that. So there are a couple of key products that I like to apply to a pimple when I do get them. And obviously I have two little ones starting right here. It, let's face it, it is that time of the month. And of course, you're gonna get a little bit hormonal imbalance and you know, some of us will get a pimple here or there. Totally normal, totally natural. So these are the products that you're gonna wanna use to clear up that zit. And I will have everything I'm using today linked in the description box for you guys. No affiliates, it's just there. Check it out. So this one is what we're gonna start with. And this is a clarifying product from Neostrata, you can pick this up at your local drugstore. So this is actually called the Targeted Clarifying Gel. So this is fantastic. This has got a little tiny, you know, spout, if you will. I'm just gonna take the smallest amount, like tiny, tiny bit, like that's actually too much for this little zit right here. So we're just going to just tap that in, just to that area. And I may as well do it up here as well. But I'm just gonna go down here and use anything else on the sides of my nose. <laughs> the reason that I'm doing that is because the sides of my nose is where I get blackheads. And you know what, blackheads are just not pretty. They're not pretty, we don't love them. They're not our friend. So this just helps, you know, keep that nice and clear. Everyone says, Lacey, you have amazing skin. You guys tell me that all of the time. And in fact, just yesterday, I had someone stop me and they're like, what do you use on your face? And I'm like, nothing special. <laughs> like seriously, it's not, it's nothing special. I always tell you guys what I'm using on my face and I will go through that with you guys right now. So this little guy, so important. You need, you need this in your life. All right guys, so as another spot treatment, I like to use the Neostrata in the morning and the Murad at night. So that's what this one is right here. So this one is called Invisiscar Resurfacing Treatment and you just need a little pump and just tap that on. I'll also again go in here to where I get blackheads and on my chin just to use up any leftover product. But this is what I use and honestly, I swear by this. This is amazing. Now this does say Invisiscar. Obviously I have a scar here. And no, I do not apply this to the scar. This is still too fresh, I feel, for me to add something like this to that area. So if you guys want to know what products I'm using to get rid of the scar, let me know in the comments 
down below and I will do a video on that. So now that we've laid down that product, we're gonna go in with our hydronic acid. So this is the Ordinary's hydronic acid right here. This is 2%. So I'm just going to grab some of that on this little dropper. We're gonna add that right here. I usually warm it up in my hands just a little bit. And then we're gonna tap that on. Always work in an upwards motion. And I usually go down the whole decollete area with this, like this little guy right here, amazing. And like six bucks or something crazy like that it is so affordable, it's crazy. All right, so then to moisturize, we're gonna go in with the Ordinary's Moisturizing Natural, Natural Moisturizing Factors with AHA. So I'm just gonna pick up just a small pea size amount. Again, I always warm this up in my hands and we're just going to just apply. Same thing, I usually go down my whole neck and decollete area. I do apply this over top of my scar, same with the hydronic acid. Now, I do go in with niacinamide in the evening. You guys can also apply the niacinamide and then also this moisturizer at night. It is amazing, you guys are gonna love it. You're gonna thank me, you're gonna write to me and be like, girl, you know what? You got it this is amazing it's what i tell everyone it's so good and this is like 12 bucks this is an amazing moisturizer if you're a girl on a budget this is the bomb all right so next we're going to go in with a skin primer i am going to go in with this one right here and this is the dior skin veil primer i'm just going to take a small pea size amount of this just like that rub that into my fingertips so i'm just going to generously apply this to that area and i'm going to spread it out from there Now I'm gonna go in with a second primer. So to do that, I'm actually gonna go in with this one right here, and this is the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. If you don't have that, and you've got this one, or you're a girl on a budget, definitely pick this one up. This is basically a straight up dupe for that. And this is the e.l.f., what is it called? Poreless Putty Primer. This one is like honestly a really good product as well. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of it. They're both, honestly, I'll open this one for you guys, basically the same thing. So I'm just gonna pick up this one right here. We're going to generously take a little bit of that and just tap that in on top of the zit. And up here, because we've got our two little friends starting up here, which I don't know if we can call them friends. They're definitely not in the friend zone. <laughs> I'm not happy that they're there. I'm gonna take this as well, just a little bit, come down the sides of my nose, I come down the smile lines with this primer as well. I do just under my bottom lip. Just cause I get, you know, a little bit of, you know, I don't, say, I don't wanna say I'm oily. I'm definitely not oily. I have dry skin, very sensitive dry skin, but I do get sometimes foundation breakage right there. Mostly cause I eat a lot of, you know, salad, <laughs> I think. But we're gonna take just a little bit again on our finger and just tap right under our under eye area. And that's where I applied this primer when I'm doing my makeup. For the foundation, I am gonna go in with this one right here and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. If you guys haven't picked this up and tried it, this is amazing, I super love it. So we're just gonna pick up just a small amount. Now I'm gonna go in with a dampened beauty sponge and I'm just gonna pick up some of that product on the back of the sponge, just like that. And we're just gonna tap that on. I'm starting at that area and I'm applying a decent amount of product. We're just gonna let that kind of marinate, if you will, while we do the rest of the face, again with this area right here. Again, this is not a full coverage foundation. This is a very buildable foundation, but it's just one that I really love because it looks like skin. So as I apply this foundation, I could totally go in and blend it out with a brush. If you guys love a brush, go for it. But today I just feel like using a beauty blender. Now I'm not applying a lot of foundation to my face. As you can see, it's very red right there. 
and obviously it being that time of the month you're going to get maybe just a little bit more oily so i don't want to add anything that's like too dewy or too dry this foundation it's just perfect to start off, I'm gonna go in with this one right here, and this is the Too Faced Concealer. This is the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I'm just going to take this under my eyes to start off with, but we're going to apply this right there. Decent amount. I'm gonna add some concealer to the other side, because if we make one side bright, we're obviously going to make the other side bright. Again, if you guys want to use a brush, use a brush. Today, I just feel like using the sponge. And we're just going to tap that out. Now, as you can tell, I'm going to leave the concealer on my nose and up here as long as possible, just because I want it to dry down. And I'm just tapping that out. What I love about this product, the concealer, it just gives such a brightening effect. Now, I'm just going to gently tap that concealer around. But as you can tell, it did such an amazing job to conceal. So I'm just going to go in now with my Kosas Revealer Concealer. This is one of my ride or die favorite concealers. And yes, I am layering concealers. That is a key. So I'm just going to go in put a little bit right here. See, when I'm doing my makeup for these videos, you guys don't usually see this part. I don't usually add it in. These are secrets of the trade. Now I added just a little bit to this area. Again, we're going to leave it just for a minute while we tap out the rest of that concealer. Like this one is completely gone. It's invisible. And now we're just going to gently tap out that area. Again, totally invisible. Love that, all right. So now you can go in and obviously bronze up your face, use any cream blushes, anything you wanna do to apply your makeup, go for it. We're just going to powder that down at this point because I just want to move on and show you guys what's next. So for powder, I am going to be using this Ultra HD powder. This is the Micro Finishing Loose Powder from Makeup Forever. What I love about this is that it has this little net here. It's so amazing. We're just going to take a powder puff. These just I buy these on Amazon and I literally just throw them in the wash when they get dirty. Now I did do my makeup earlier for an event, so that is why this one's dirty, but it's still clean from today. So we're just gonna go in and tap a little bit of that product on those problem areas, if we will, our not so friendly friends. And always a good rule of thumb. This is just a tip I'm gonna throw into this video. I have mentioned it in the previous video, but it is very warm out these days. So if you guys don't want your eyebrows to move around the products that you put on them, powder those eyebrows down just like that, and then go in with any of your eyebrow products. It's just gonna make it stay on all day long in the heat when you're sweating. It's just one of those things. It's a really good tip. All right, so now that I've powdered my face, I am gonna go in with just a fluffy brush. And of course, this is my favorite powder brush. This is the number 67 from Scott Barnes, and I'm just going to swirl around that powder, take off any excess. And there we have it, completely covered up. And the products that we used beforehand are going to dry that out. And by the time you remove your makeup, it's going to be half gone. Give it 24 to 48 hours, and that's just, it's not gonna be there anymore. Now, we have to talk about something. When it comes to removing your makeup, that is so important. Definitely remove your makeup. Really good makeup wipes. These ones are from Vichy. They're amazing. These are the makeup removing micellar cleansing wipes. This also removes waterproof from makeup and soothes the skin. If you have sensitive skin, if you have dry skin, these ones are so, so good. Now this one is also from Vichy. This is the soothing eye makeup remover. This one right here amazing obviously i've got this much left this one is just a ride or die product now this one is brand new this one still has a seal on it but this one i'll shake up for you guys this one is also from vichy and this is the waterproof eye makeup remover if you guys are using lashes and you want something that's just a little bit extra a little bit more but if you have sensitive skin this one right here amazing definitely just you know put it on take off your makeup add this to this and just gently rub that area 
not rub rub hard, but just, you know, take off the makeup. Now this one right here is from Lancome. And this is the double action eye makeup remover. This one is really, really good as well. This one also takes off waterproof, I find. It's just one of those ones that I super, super love. So again, this one is amazing. Now, this one, this is the big puppy right here. This is the jumbo size. It usually comes in a smaller size, but this one was on sale the other day and I was like, I need that in my life. So this one is the La Roche Palsy makeup remover. This is the micellar water. This is made for sensitive skin. This is an ultra cleansing and makeup remover. Again, it claims to be soothing. This is very, very soothing. This is amazing. So I'll just put a pump of this on one of these wipes. And these are already moistened wipes, but this just gives it a little bit of that oomph, like just a little bit extra. So good. Just wipe all that off. Sometimes I will go in and double cleanse and use a second wipe, you know, just to remove any of that extra makeup because sometimes I'm on set filming and I've got like a full beat on and you just want that extra bit of cleanse. So definitely do that. Then go in, cleanse your face with your favorite cleanser, wash your face, you're good to go. Then put on your little spot treatment right here and go in again with your niacinamide before bed and some moisturizer as well. Hit that sack, get those, you know, eight to 12 hours of rest because a girl needs that in her life and you're gonna wake up looking stunning in the morning. All right, guys, I hope you found this video educational and amazing. If you guys loved it, please hit that thumbs up and write me in the comments down below. If you guys have questions about skincare, I would love to answer them. I'm always here to answer all your questions. All right, guys, until next time, live, love, and lip gloss. Bye, guys.